once again I'm here. I'm in another nigga state. All soul versus loaded lux. Some say this is Daniel, some versus Miyagi. <laughs> I say it's destiny. Alright, so we here with Fettuccini 20. Um You have popped over the past year, year and a half, um, through trap battles. And PG battles, right? Trap, PG, we go hard. So, if you a battle rapper sitting at home, or you aspire to be a battle rap rapper, it seems like everybody wants to be a PG, cause they look at that as the window to get in on. That shit is like. You finished your question? All right, the PG shit is like. A... To me, I feel like that's probably the best and worst thing that happened to battle rap. Honestly, because it give people a goal to get on smack, but it's like a, it's kind of like fake to me. It's like, because they throw, they, there's a PG card, then there's however many battles on the card, one nigga might make it from there, man. So now you got all these, and then it's like, it's not like when the PGs first started to where it was like, the nigga that they put up there was... It wasn't really like, they wasn't getting called PGs. They wasn't like, when clean pop, clean pop. You feel me? Like, that was it. The last nigga, like, Turk is the last nigga that really did that. Like, as soon as he came out, he popped. You feel me? Like, when them niggas was coming out, they just popped straight off the jump. So now it's like, it's just, the game is getting oversaturated. It's crowded. So everybody look at the PG as a goal. Like, that's getting on smack. And that's not really getting on smack, bro. Till that shit drops. Then you, then you could say you on smack, and you're not even really on smack. Yo, you on, you on a PG, man. So like, that label is just man, like that PG label. It's niggas that don't, don't even had a PG that they call them PG battlers, like, and that shit is just like the worst thing for a battle rapper right now, honestly. Not to get the PG, not to do the PG, cause I feel like that's a good, like, it's no better, there's no way else to get on smack really, mm -hmm. besides the PG. That's why I know if it's a smart nigga, man. <laughs> He a smart nigga. He made everything go through him. So, uh, I guess for for people at home, uh, they they just watch battle rap like it's like it's a show, like it's mm -hmm. their favorite show. Uh, what's insight that you can give them as far as what, what like what was your journey from rapping on the streets to oh, rapping right. in a we go hard and then it ended up on a PG and what you trying to do now? What's the behind the scenes story of that? For me, it was just first of all, I, I was. You gotta be real with yourself. I knew I, I knew I was nice. I was confident. You gotta be confident. No, and then you gotta know that just because you put a thousand percent into this battle and nothing came out of it, that don't mean not to put a thousand percent in the next battle, bro. And you gotta be consistent. Consistent. That's the key. Consistency is the key. I went from a small league called Sixteen Bars that nobody knew about. When I was on Sixteen Bars, I didn't know about no other league. All I knew about Sixteen Bars. And you are well. Like, I thought I was gonna go from 16 bars to smack. So was that like a local joint in your hood? A real, real local joint. Real, real local. And I met a few people from. I met a few people that I that I. I mean, Golden Squad. We all kind of. There's a lot of people that came from 16 bars. Ty. A lot of niggas came from 16 bars. I mean, Hussein, Piff. A lot of people came through there. And um, I went from that league to the trap. Now from 16 bars, I just started. Going everywhere. I went to a Quiet Room for a few battles. Battle Rap Arena was around that time. So I just was going everywhere. Was it hard, was it hard to get on Quiet Room at that time? No. Queen Swift was looking for niggas at that time. So it wasn't Quiet Room. I did the see He had like a PG situation. It's called the, 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 the Come Up Grounds. So I did that. I wasn't in the Quiet Room. It was a crowd in it and all that. But mm -hmm. I just took every battle anybody offered me. I ain't have no hit list. I never had like, yo, I want this person, want that person. Never did none of that shit. To this day, I really don't do that. But I took it. whatever niggas threw me and I battled them niggas. I wasn't, and I never battled. I wrote for the battler, but in my mind, I wasn't battling that person. I was battling the camera. I, wanted, I was just showing what I could do. I never was like, on some, I gotta kill this nigga. Nah, I never was like that. I felt like I'm gonna write this fire for this nigga and I'm showing niggas what I could do. Cause at the end of the day, to me, none of these battles really count until you getting seen on the main stage, yo, honestly, to me. They count because they getting you there. But 
it don't matter if you win or lose these shits to me, honestly. That's how I feel. It's just what you show you could do. Because I done seen niggas like, for, for example, you could take Mike P and Av. For me, Av clearly won. But Mike P showed what he could do. He showed the difference. He showed, I. Right, he, he punching my head off right now, but nobody else is going to do what I'm doing right here. And that's what you got to show. And that's the difference, I feel like. That, that, that's, that's what it takes, the consistency. You know, just from talking to you from the first 10 minutes, I realized that even though you might be newer as far as getting your name up in battle rap, you got an appreciation yeah, for, the, yeah. for the last generation. Yeah, and yeah. something something that all the people from the last generation always talk about is like, yo, we had to sleep on couches, yeah. go into tournaments for no money and shit just to get our name up. And they don't really have that now. Yeah. So it's good to hear you say that, like, yo, you got to do a bunch of battles oh, you might yeah. not get. Because a lot of people are like, yo, where's my 500? Exactly, you know exactly. Like, niggas is coming in this shit expecting what they see other niggas get. That's the problem, like. And, and, and right now, to me, it's like, it's harder than anything to get on. Because there's so many niggas that's popping up. And it's, and it's the thing about the battle rap shit. Battle rapping is some shit that could be, that could be learned how to do. It could be learned. You could look at it, study it, learn how to do it, and then figure out how you could do it and protect that shit. And that's that's what's going on right now. A lot of people are just sitting back watching. Oh, I could do this shit. And then there's a lot of smart niggas too. A smart person to learn how to battle rap is over. Them niggas is nice because it's a pen. It's really a pen game. It's about your pen. So it take it take a lot, man. It take a lot. And then you still might not make it. So I feel like I had. I, t I feel like I did everything, and I had a little bit of luck with me. I had relationships with people. Like it's just it's a game. I played the game, yo, you know, it's a, it's a real game besides just rapping. So what's your advice to somebody at home that's trying to get in a battle rap? Like what route do you think they should take? Whether they want to go a king of the doubt route, a don't flop route, a URL route, like, like what's your, your advice? My advice is what I did and my advice to you is whoever you are, be that, but exaggerate that shit like a motherfucker. You gotta, you gotta project yourself to like I'm on, like to me, when the, in battle rap, people got they like they lanes, like like certain people like like my nigga Jims, he be on, he got his YouTube shit popping, he do his blogs and shit. Me, my lane is Facebook, my nigga. Like <laughs> Facebook, I'm the man on Facebook. Like so, you just gotta find your lane and, and and get your fans and your following, and then take your following with you wherever you go. And, and do you think the promoters of the battles, like or, or the people behind the scenes, when they go to book you? They're like, oh, he got his Instagram to 15,000. Yes, He's yes, popping. I'm going to yes, give him a better yes, opponent. Yes. Now listen, I've been, before I got on Smack, before I got on URL, I was getting booked to go to Chicago, Guerrilla Warfare. I battled another league. I was getting booked going places before I was really, like, solidified. I mean, as a mid tier, low tier, whatever you want to call me. I don't even, I don't even know where I'm at in this shit. But. Like before, I, before everybody knew me, I was already going places because I had a following already. Every every league I was at, I was at the top of the league. I'm the, I'm talking the most shit. You got you just gotta make yourself known. I'm I'm I'm, I'm out here, like I'm doing I'm doing whatever. Like you know, it's females and this shit. You know, like I'm doing. I'm being a part of the game. You gotta play the game. You ain't. It's very rare. There's some niggas that don't gotta play the game. Like niggas like Chess. Chess don't gotta play the game because he's a. One of a kind of talent. I mean, you gotta be real with yourself. You know what I mean, that, that, that's basically it. You gotta be real with yourself.